Yeah, Preston, police were called here to Linden Avenue around 1 this morning. This actually comes as crime is trending down in some areas as we wrap up the year. But the Seattle police chief and many others we talked to today say this grim milestone is a reminder of the work still left to be done. The crime tape went up and police combed for evidence where a man was found dead from a possible stabbing in North Seattle. I mean, there's violence everywhere, but as far as Seattle, it's, yeah, it's been crazy. Police Chief Adrian Diaz showed up to report this homicide marks the city's 72nd, surpassing the previous record set in 1994. But when you have a homicide like this, it's tragic for the family and it has huge impacts uh, to the community. Jim Fudo with Crime Stopper says he's upset but not surprised about the numbers given the police staffing crisis and what he calls a lack of accountability for offenders. Violent criminals are being released from jail and doing other things, and there's a sense that there's that, uh, that people can get away with these things. And complete shock from daycare owner Apollonia Washington, who has been outspoken about violent crime, including gun violence off 23rd and Jackson. Her learning center was hit by a stray bullet in October, sending young children crawling to safety. I shouldn't have to think about bulletproof windows when I'm giving good quality care to children. She and neighboring businesses have since formed a coalition focused on public outreach to help vulnerable populations. And they're pressing city leaders to keep police resources in the area. She and her colleagues are encouraging other neighborhoods to take action. Just like we're holding um, folks accountable to support 23rd and Jackson and around, there need to be other um, work groups created throughout the city. Meanwhile, FUTA is hopeful for a turnaround in 2024 and urges current and incoming city leaders to tackle the drug problem that often leads to these horrific crimes. It shows more heart and mercy to be able to uh, take care of these people when they're not capable of making their own decisions. You think the new city council could help push those changes? Absolutely. And Washington tells us that her coalition is willing to help other neighborhoods that are wanting to start up work groups of their own. Also, Chief Diaz this summer introduced a new task force aimed at tackling gun violence in hotspots like Aurora Avenue, downtown, South Seattle, and the Central District. SPD has yet to release statistics of how successful that effort has been so far. For now, live in North Seattle, Jackie Kent, come on news. Right now, Federal Way Police are looking for an armed and dangerous suspect accused of attacking a man who was exercising at to park, sending him to the hospital with serious injuries. This all happened before 8 this morning at Town Square Park in Federal Way. Como's Paul Rivera reports on this investigation. He also spoke to those who have serious concerns about safety in that area. There's kids here almost every day. You know, not just mine, but all the local kids. So it's it's disturbing. It's a daytime attack at Town Square Park in Federal Way that those here said adds to a list of safety problems in the area. Federal Way police said a man was trying to exercise and was attacked here in the morning by a suspect armed with a tool. Attacked from behind, the man was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. This photo was put out by police on the man they said they are looking for, considered armed and dangerous. Got into a point where I usually have to carry a weapon. A gun, a knife, just something. So I can be confident that my son is safe. Curtis Adkins said he sometimes takes his son here and told us what he sees at this location. Uh, drug use, homeless people setting fires, cops being called, cops taking 20, 30 minutes. He's not the only one who shared concern. Do you walk around here at night? God, no. Patricia Mayer lives next to the park. Well, if it's warmer and it's sunny, you know, and there's more hours in the day, then yeah, I'll walk. But, you know, when it's dark, I just, I don't know. You know, there's a lot of stuff that happens at night. While police were here, investigators focused their attention on a section near the parking lot at the park as they gathered evidence, learning more about the attack that happened here. But it's everywhere. Crime is everywhere, you know. And you just have to, you have to be on your toes. Those walking by the scene, hoping more attention can be paid to this part of town. Reporting in Federal Way, Paul Rivera, Como News. Tonight, Federal Way police are asking that you call 911 if you know or see that suspect. They say don't approach the man and that he should be considered armed and dangerous.